Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's the third example of how we work, example of how we work problems with exponential growth and decay. So our, our example here says, if the population of a town is growing at 1% per year, how long will it take for the population to double? So again, let's write down the equation that we normally use. We'll use the letter P, the population as a function of time, is equal to the initial population times e to the k times t. And really what they're asking for here is, what will the time be equal to, how long, how long will it take, for the population to be twice the original population? So that's what we call the doubling of the population, when the final population is twice the original population. So we, didn't, we weren't given the value for k, but we were given the growth rate in percentage. And it turns out for small percentages, k is approximately equal to 0.01, which is, of course, the 1% growth rate. Now, I said approximately because it's not exactly. For 1% growth rate, k is actually equal to 0.00995, which you can see is very close to 0.01. So for small percentages, it's often OK to use the approximated value. Later on, I will show you an example how to find the exact value for k. But for now, let's say that's good enough. All right, if that's the case, then our equation becomes p as a function of time is equal to p sub naught times e to the 0.01t. Again, remember, we're looking for the value for t. And in this particular case, since we know that the population is going to double, so let's put in 2 p sub naught for p. So 2 p sub naught equals p sub naught times e to the 0.01t. And of course, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the value of time. All right, how do we do that? Well, first of all, notice that we have p sub naught on both sides of the equation, so we can go ahead and get rid of the p sub naught, so our equation becomes 2 is equal to e to the 0.01t. Now, to isolate t, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. By doing that, we can negate the exponential right here, so we take the natural log of 2 is equal to the natural log of e to the 0.01t. Now, when you take the natural log of an exponential, that negates the exponential, and we can now write the natural log of 2 is equal to 0.01t. That was the reason why we took the natural log of both sides of the equation in the first place, is to get rid of that exponential form. So now we can solve for t by dividing both sides by 0.01, <clears throat> which is the coefficient in front of t, so that cancels out, and by turning the equation around, I can say that t is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by 0.01. All right, let's evaluate that. Where's my calculator? Okay, now the natural log of 2 is kind of a special number, so let me write that down. So 2, take the natural log. So this is equal to 0 0.693. That number will come up in other occasions. Okay, divide that by 0 0.01. And we get 69.3, and of course that's in terms of years because we're given the growth rate in terms of 1% per year. So after 69.3 uh, years, the population will actually double. Now, remember that that was an approximated value. We'll let k equal 0.01. Let's see what the, the answer would be if we use the exact value for k at 0.0095. So if we're going to do that, let's rewrite the equation here. So instead of uh, using the 0 0.01, we're going to use the 0 0.0095. So we end up, let's take it from here, 2 is equal to e to the 0.00995t. So that's now the exact value. So let's take the natural log of both sides. We have the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of e to the 0.00995t. Of course, that negates the exponential, so we get the natural log of 2 equals 0.00995t. And then reversing the equation, dividing both sides by 0.0095t, we get t is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by 0.00995. And let's see what that would then be equal to. So we take the natural log of 2 and divide it by 0.00995, and the answer would be 69.7 years. 
So this is the exact value, this is the approximated value. You can see that the numbers are fairly close, so it depends how badly you want the exact answer. Either use the quick, easy approach and call the percentage equal to the constant, or if you want the exact amount, I will show you later how to find k to be the exact amount in a later example. All right, so here's a, a good way of showing how we implement the exponential growth equation.